I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to preach the good news of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friend, I encourage you as I share a message with you and I pray for you today. Be in agreement, connect in faith, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Hello, hello, hello to you, my dear friend. It's Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here, and I greet you in the name of Jesus. It is so good to be with you today on another day that God has given us. And by the grace of God, we will press on and we will not give up. My dear friend, as you know, today is Friday and on Friday, we pray Friday financial prayers. And today I want to share with you something that is so important. It's so important that all believers know where their help comes from. And the title of my message today is our help comes from God. Now I want to start by reading from the book of Psalms chapter 124 from verse 2 to verse 8 and then we're going to go to Psalm 125 verse 1. It says in the book of Psalms 124 from verse 2 to verse 8 it says this, If the Lord had not been on our side when people attacked us they would have swallowed us alive. When the anger flared against us the flood would have engulfed us, the torrent would have swept us over, the raging waters would have swept us away. Praise be to the Lord who has not let us be torn by their teeth. We have escaped like a bird from the fowler's snare. The snare has been broken and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Furthermore, my dear friend, it says in the book of Psalms chapter 125 from verse 1, it says those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be shaken but endures forever. My dear friend, put your trust in God. As born again believers, it is so essential that we remember where our help comes from. Our help comes from the maker of heaven and earth. Our help comes from the creator, the Lord God Almighty, the God himself, the Alpha and the Omega, the one who created everything, everything seen and unseen. He created it all. Our help comes from him. And if God be on your side, who can be against you? You are on the winning team. All you need on your side for you to win is God. Everyone else can be against you, but if God is on your side, you will win because our help comes from God. As born again believers, we are in this world, but we are not of this world. We are not people of this world, but we are people of God. It's so essential that we understand our help comes from God. Now being Friday, we pray Friday financial prayers. I want to tell you if you are going through any situation, in your finances, in your workplace, in your business, in whatever you might be doing. Trust God and believe that He's going to help you. Our help comes from God. He's going to help you in your financial situation. If you do not have financial stability, God will give you financial stability. If you are trusting God for a good job, maybe you've got a job already, but you're trusting God for a better job. He's going to give you jobs and better jobs as you trust Him. Why? Because our help comes from God. Furthermore, if you do not have a job, if you're currently unemployed, you can trust God and God will give you a job. Why? Because our help comes from God. If you haven't been doing well in that business, you can put your trust in God and God can show you what to do. God knows everything. He created the heavens and the earth. He created all the systems of life. Who better to ask than the Creator Himself? He can show you what to do and when to do it so that business turns around. Now, my dear friend, we're going to put our trust in God and I trust, I believe, I know God is going to bless you. So in saying that, my dear friend, take yourself and your device wherever you're watching me from. Just go somewhere private where you can pray, where you can seek God. And even as you go there, begin to lift up praises to God. As your praises go up, the blessings of God will come down. The Bible makes it clear when it says, let the people praise your God. Let all the people praise you and then the land will yield its harvest. As you praise God, you will receive your breakthrough. In saying that, begin to praise Him in your own words. Father, You are our God and we praise You. We thank You for Your goodness, we thank You for Your mercy and we praise You. We praise You for all that You do for us. Even the fact that we're here today and we can be praying today, yet another day that You've given us to live to the fullest. We've gotten through another week and we are going. We are not going to stop. We are going to keep on going. We're going to press on and we're going to receive the prize that you have for us. We thank you for your divine purpose and destiny that you have for my dear friend. And I thank you that even today as we pray, you are making a way where there seems to be no way. You are opening up closed doors of blessing and you are renewing old things, things that are passing away, things that you gave, good things 
in that business. I thank you that dry bones are rising again. I thank you in my dear friend's life, in my dear friend's marriage, in my dear friend's relationships, in my dear friend's job, in my dear friend's workplace, amongst my dear friend's community. Wherever good things that you've given my dear friend have passed away, who have died down, and they're not going as they used to, I thank you that things are beginning to move, things are beginning to change, things are beginning to happen, and it's about to go to a greater glory. I thank you and I give you praise that even as we put our trust in you today, you are doing something amazing. As our help comes from you, we give you praise. We give you praise because even today when we call out to you, we are confident through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, you will answer our prayers with fire. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, I discern the presence of God and I know like I know as we pray, God is going to bless you. God's going to take you to a greater glory. So in saying that, let us begin to pray. We're going to go into a time of prayer. And even as we begin to pray, God is going to do something amazing. Now, as we go into a time of prayer, I want to encourage you to do two simple things. The first thing that I want you to do, my dear friend, is just lift up your hands and say this out loud. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come into this place where I'm watching and help me. Help me to believe. Help me to trust. Help me to know that my help comes from you. I pray this in Jesus' name. Help me to continue believing and to keep on running the race with endurance and not to give up. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear friend, the second thing that I want to encourage you to do is comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement and even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. But in saying that, my dear friend, let us begin to pray. Father, I pray for my dear friend. Right now, wherever my dear friend is, wherever my dear friend is watching, whichever country it is, we thank you and we give you praise. Distance is not a barrier for you. Time is also not a barrier. Wherever my dear friend is, touch, change, intervene and deliver my dear friend from whatever situation my dear friend might be going through today as my dear friend cries out for your help i pray hear my dear friends cry and supply all of my dear friends needs because we know that our help comes from you we know by grace through faith in jesus christ that our help comes from you you are such a good god you are amazing you're wonderful you're wonderful to us where would we be without you if it wasn't for you, we most probably wouldn't even be here today. But it's all because of your grace. You made a way where there seemed to be no way. And because of that, we can keep on going. In the same way, by your grace that is available in Christ. Through faith, we ask you, intervene divinely. Help my dear friend in whatever situation my dear friend is going through. Lord, let your divine help come in my dear friend's life right now. In my dear friend's family, in my dear friend's workplace, in my dear friend's business. Turn that business around. In that workplace where things are going the wrong way, turn it around. In that family, in that marriage where things are going the wrong way, turn it around right now even as we put our trust in you. Wherever my dear friend's health isn't doing too good, intervene divinely and turn it around. Because even in the area of health, our help comes from you. Ultimately, we know you are our keeper. You are our Lord. You are the one who supplies all our needs. So even today, we put our trust in you and we thank you that it is a done deal. And distance will not be a barrier. Time will not be a barrier. Whenever my dear friend watches this video, let my dear friend receive a mighty miracle from you. I pray this in Jesus' name and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen and amen. God bless you, my dear friend. In saying that, my dear friend, we come to the end of this video. If you are blessed by this video and you feel led to donate or to partner with us to support us in this work that we are doing, then you can do so through PayPal or Patreon. All the links are provided in the description. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye.